Over the past few years, most of the little films we've run on bandstand from time to time have been the work of Stefan Sargent. And we're obviously not alone in thinking that Stefan is one of the most talented and individual filmmakers in the country, or out of it now. Earlier this year, Stefan was awarded one of the coveted Harkness Fellowships and is now overseas and likely to stay there for quite a while. We're delighted for him, of course, even though we had to look around for someone to take his place, which hasn't been easy. Stefan's a tough man to follow, but we've found Yoram Gross, who's now settled here after living for some years in Israel, where he made two successful feature-length films and many shorter works, which won awards at film festivals all over Europe. Yoram has a distinctive continental style, and although it may be very different from Stefan's, we hope you'll find it equally original and imaginative and this week you'll see some of it for the first time on Australian television. Which brings me to the second part of this introduction. A little while ago we accidentally discovered that Janice Slater is a spare time poetess. And although her poetry is not something she brags about, I happen to know she feels pretty deeply about it. We've been able to persuade her to let us present some of it on bandstand. It's a nice sort of poetry, I think. Some of it a little sceptical and disillusioned, but most of it romantic and warmly sentimental. A fairly accurate reflection of Janice herself, I think. The title of their first piece is Call It What You May. Here's Janice to read it, illustrated by Joram Gross. To be with him is like breathing a kind of air that only comes from the sweet blossom that perchance came your way and you wish you could breathe it longer than just for a few minutes. To turn your head and see him still smiling is like your first gift or your last, and you wish for nothing more. feel his head resting on your shoulder. You remember how it felt when you found comfort in your mother's embrace, when you were frightened or just needing affection, and you feel he is but a child. is a joy within a joy and you burst with excitement and both fall to sleep like babes as you were born. We live in a very big house with windows and a front door. It's yellow and green is the grass around it. We have a big cross which makes me feel warm. I have all sisters and no brothers because we don't allow them. We have two horses and a cat. The horses just eat and carry kids around all day. We love them. One's very wild, because he's 80 years old. He knows more than the other, who's brown. Mother told us. I have one sister, who's my very own, who has a cat named Lickup, and he perches on our windowsill. 
Our cat next door was found with his head caught in the fence. He was going, half, half. Why don't he go meow, I asked my sister. Guess he wants to belong, she said. How come, I asked. Well, she hasn't got any sisters or a mother like we have. And did you know that the cup plays with that lovely dog who's got six puppies? I know, because I watch them all together. Makes me feel good to see her rolling around like she does. Those pups really love her. Yeah, I said. Yeah, my sister said, very beautifully. Sure is a nice feeling to know you belong. <laughs>